report. And I know from experience that the staff are quite capable of taking a look at the situation, and even though it doesn't meet the warrants, if there's an overriding safety concern or if they feel that it will make the si this situation safer, they will recommend putting in lights or stop signs or anything else to help make something safer. But what happens when you go and blow $500,000 that's not recommended by staff, it takes $500,000 away from some other situation where the lights really are warranted and where they really are needed and where they will improve safety. So what you're doing here is you're robbing safety. You're making it less safe for some people that aren't going to get the $500,000 because you've spent them out here in Scarborough. And this isn't the first one you've done. You've done many of these out there that aren't warranted. And if you don't believe staff, why don't you move to get rid of them? Why don't you move to not have those reports here? Pardon? Speak through the chair, not to the... I kind of thought I was speaking to the no, chair. No, you weren't. You're speaking to the past speaker. Well, if, if you don't believe the staff, what's the sense of paying them all the money that we pay them? There must be dozens of traffic engineers out here in the city, and we, we pay them an awful lot of money to give us this professional advice that they're well trained to give us. But we don't listen to them. We get the thing and we say, counselors know best. I know my area better than that traffic engineer. That traffic engineer went to school but doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. Well, that's, a, that's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous, and if counselors really believe it, then stand up here and have the nerve to dismiss these people and save the taxpayers the dollars because you know best. Ta counselors know their words better. They know how to spend the $500,000, even though there are other areas out there that will meet the warrants, but they won't get the license in time because the $500,000 is going somewhere else. So this is ridiculous. It should be turned down, and I hope you support Councillor Ford. Did you move anything? All right. Uh, ring the bells, please. Did, no. You were going to question me. Did you move? No. Yeah. No. He did move. Uh, yeah. Ask a question. Oh, okay. Ask a question. Oh, okay. Ask a question. Oh, okay. Ask a question. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. No. All right. The bells are ringing. There's no further speakers. I'd like a recording of this actual debate for purposes in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Del Grande. <laughs> yes, I need to take them individually. They're separate items and therefore they must be taken separately. So, we'll start with uh, Scarborough Council 31.8. Order, please. <laughs> Traffic control, signal study, Warden Avenue and Lupin Avenue. Firstly, uh, to <laughs> Councillor Sonderka. This is a receipt motion by Councillor Ford. All in favor of the receipt motion. Recorded vote. Time is money, but it's more. Councillor Peruzza, please. The motion to receive does not carry. The vote is 3 to 26. <laughs> On the item, all in favor? Recorded. Recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Carroll, please. On the item, Councillor Peruzza, please. Councillor Hall, please. The item carries 29 to 2. Next item is Scarborough Community Council 319 Traffic Control Signal Study, Danforth Road and Pilkington Drive, Ward 35. The receipt motion is before you. I gather it's a recorded vote. Councillor Peruzza, please. Councillor Cho, please. 31.9, yes. Which one is up there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Cho. Yes, 
Motion to receive does not carry. The vote is 2 to 29. On the item, recorded vote, I gather. Councillor uh, Carroll, please. On the item. <laughs> Councillor Melchin, please. The item carries 30 to 2. The next item is community 